Welcome to Faridabad for this, the first Pepsi Cup one day international between hosts India and the visitors Zimbabwe. Well, it's gone right for the, for the hosts so far. The home team, India, have won the toss, elected a bat on a pretty good looking pitch. Let's join the highlights of their innings. India won a very good toss, that's the team there. Saro Ganguly, Sanjeev Banga, Rahul Dravid, Dinesh Mongria, BVS Lakshman, Mohamed Kev, Ajay Ratra, the wicketkeeper, Agarkar, Anil Kumble, Harbhajan and Zahir Khan. They've left out SS Das, their regular opener, and this is the Zimbabwe team. Alistair Campbell, Craig Wissart, Stuart Carlisle, Andy Flower, Dion Ibrahim, Grant Flower, Travis Friend, Heath Street, Douglas Morelia. He'll be seen for the first time. Tatinda Taibu, the keeper, and Gary Brent making his first appearance in India. Ganguly's won a very good toss. It's a good pitch to bat on. It'll be interesting to see who's going to partner him, Chris. No Tendulkar. Well, it looks like uh, Dinesh Mongye. And he'll have a lot of experience uh, to share with uh, Saru Ganguly, who's been out there for a long, long time. He's been a very good uh, one-day player, Saru. Finds the gap once again. Will it go to the fence? Good timing from Dinesh Mongye. The placement was excellent. He picks up his first boundary. And he's already looking in good touch. Well, Travis Friend there. As we saw in the test matches, he's a useful performer, but he does tend to bowl all kinds of deliveries till he gets going. That one a full half volley on middle and leg. Beautifully timed. Looking for the Yorker, can't get it right. The next Monga strokes it pretty well on the offside. He picks up the boundary. It's 17 without loss, India. Side. The boundary of the last ball. 21 without loss India after five overs and Ganguly is joining in the party. The Nish won't give you playing some good shots but this is Ganguly. Yeah short but not that short and Ganguly getting onto the back foot flipping it over square leg. Well, not really on the back foot he was almost advancing at it so uh, very tidy shot there from Saurav he moves on to six scored 21 for no wicket. Shot mid wicket, and this outfield is a very quick one. Dinesh Mongia picks up a boundary. Yes, he's got four runs. Travis Friend again has erred on the short side, but it didn't come off the meat of the bat. This it was pretty high up on the bat, it wasn't particularly well timed. Just over the head of Stuart Carlisle, I think it is at uh, mid wicket, or is it Alistair Campbell? But it's gone over the top. And he's got four runs for it, as you say, a pretty quick outfield. Once again, and just a shot at the last minute, picks up another boundary. Start the one bouncer for the over. Well, yes, says Sivaram, one for the over. Well, this is how the game's changed in one-day cricket. You could now get away with bowling a bouncer. That would have been a no-ball a year ago. In the charge, good clean hit. Was it all the way? 39 for no loss. First six of the match for Banguli. That was the last ball of the last over. Good footwork. He just received, what was clever about that, he just received the bounce of the ball before. Knew he couldn't get another one. <laughs> Bigger pull, has he put it down or has he caught it? He says he's caught it, so that's fine. And the breakthrough that's so critical has been affected by Heath Streak. With that tender Taibu. I just thought it might have fallen out for a horrible moment. Inside edge, no, no, safely in the hands, didn't do anything. It just looked a bit clumsy, but nicely taken. There you go. Dinesh Mongia out for 25, and India lose their first wicket at 46. BVS Lakshman, 27 years of age, a quality player.
playing his 33rd game. All 50s, 100. That average isn't as high as he would like it. Well, that likes to uh, just hit through the line, but whoa! He was in trouble. He was in trouble. I think he's hit the stumps. I don't think the ball did. I think the ball hit him. Bit of a dodgy run. This is hit it on the up. And he set it firmly enough to Douglas Marillia, who was at a wide mid-off position. And he's run straight away. Oh, not a long way. Not a long way to go. Well, he's not going to bowl any. As long as he carries on like that. Uh oh It's got a leg slip in, which means that the fine leg is really square. So if you beat leg slip to his left, you're bound to collect a boundary. I would agree. I don't think he's brimful of confidence. So without a sort of orthodox fine leg is uh, is quite a lot to ask. Five minutes of that. So slip comes out to short mid-wicket. Beautiful strike. Well, oh, this is just vintage Lexman, isn't he? He's just lent on this. No one even moved. Timing impeccable. This one over mid wicket, so Laxman has a point to prove. Well, well, where does Heath Street bowl now? He's bowled us a little straighter, and Laxman's picked him up and hit him over mid wicket. Look at that off stump line. He's just picked that up on Ling. That's a special shot. A very good comment, too. Where does he bowl now? as hard as he possibly could almost with utter disregard for the bloke letting the ball go well, Ganguly realising the ball is not doing much it's not swinging, it's not seeming see the right leg cleared way outside leg stump free the arms and well well Ganguly's decided he wants to come to the party too obviously a good party it's going to be the tall Douglas Marillia, off-spin bowler for Zimbabwe. 26 matches for him. Best of four for 38. Been plenty to cheer for the local Faridabad crowd here. Good run rate being maintained by the Indians. Just the one setback, Dinesh Mongia caught Taibu for 25. But Saru Gangali is playing well and showing some deft touch. Not the best of starts for Marilia. Did away. There was a bit of deviation. We should increase the spinner. But plenty of room outside the Austin for Ganguly. We can see that it's been a good partnership. 37 runs of 41 balls. And the 15 overs are up, which means a bit of a release of pressure for the captain. He's got four men in the circle now. He's going to get four. Just for a moment, I thought Douglas Mariela might just come around it. But it was played very fine. The third man was far too square. And Vivius Lakshman is a very crafty player. <laughs> Dropped. Wasn't an easy chance. But it's the field that's got Ganguly to play this kind of a shot. They were all there looking to save that single and keep him on strike. And this is the answer. He has six men inside the ring, and this is something a bowler should expect. It's, with that single, the 100 comes up for India. It's been a good uh, toss to have won. Perfect batting conditions, lovely weather, great environment for cricket. to Saurabh Ganguly in just the 20th over and how well he's played out there he's back to four more right this fella 
Yes, and that is ominous form because that is terrific uh, start to this one-day series. 50 of 63. He won't catch that one. In fact, no one will. Except perhaps the ice cream man. Gone over the top of the side screen. I fancy taking that at one point because that was such a straight hit. Landed just under our commentary box here. He's so good at this. Wonderful use of the feet. And away she goes. Terrific flow of that bat. And fancies himself. They could be a long off, long on. Well, he's going to have a look. A big appeal for the stumping. And Tatenda Taibu is certain that that is the end of Surav Ganguly. The skipper now saying, look at my foot. It hasn't gone anywhere. But it certainly did. At some stage, it did do some... There was some movement. Oh, that is great work. And that is magnificent keeping. Well out. And I'm afraid, from an Indian point of view, it's going to be bye-bye, Sarah. He's been given already. Straight away... The third ump only having to look a couple of times. Sort of Ganguly gone for 57. It's now 123 for two. To the beam earlier to continue again to Raul Dravid. A beautiful soap. Foot off, but beautifully timed. Right of it off. And Raul Dravid will be pleased with that. He failed with the bat in Delhi on both occasions. And he'll be pleased to got that away. He'll need, need to score here. So Vivius Lachman then just needs one for his 50. Vivius Lachman goes to 50. His fifth in one day internationals. something he didn't I certainly agree with you Robin I thought I heard something mind you Travis friend didn't seem too interested in appealing either let's see if gets anywhere near the bat oh I thought I heard something there Robin on the replay me too as you say it's all perfect perfectly lined up perhaps the ball's just gone past the the outside edge before we hear the noise. Maybe maybe the ball is past. Is the ball past the edge of the bat? And there's another noise from somewhere else. Feet or something. Just... Anyway, no one heard it. That's up in the air. Before. Short and wide from Travis Friend. He's given him out with a cap. How about that? I've given out with a cap. Don't put the finger up. That's the first time I've ever seen that. <laughs> well, well, it is out. <laughs> but yes, that's very different. I suppose you could ask the question whether Dravid should have stayed because he hadn't been given the finger. Rahul Dravid, 23 of 34 balls, LBW, Grand Flower, 171 for three. It's Mohamed Kaif who's come in, not Banga. Magnificent piece of fielding by Marilia down there at third man. It really was a terrific dive. He's a tall man and it went very fine and this outfield can be quick. Eat streak. They've been happy with what he saw there. Pickish edge. Come on, Dad! Come on! Oh, trouble here. Real trouble. And this is going to be a run out. And it's going to be the end of VVS Laxman. What a sad ending to a very good innings. The fourth wicket goes down.
and a disaster for India. What a time to lose him. Well, Mohammad Kaif was never sure whether this was going to be a signal. Just have a look at him. He was not sure, but uh, BBS Lakshman was very keen. And didn't quite see that doubt in the striker's uh, eyes, perhaps. Just went through with it. And in the end, a bizarre dismissal for VBS Lakshman. An inning that was looking good, but a sad end. 193 for four. 193 for four. 40 overs gone. And here's Sanjay Banga, the new batsman. Travis Friend has clutched it out of the air. And Sanjay Banga, well, he won't like the look of this. A curious shot, really. Not sure what the intention was, but have a look at this catch. He was coming in to save the single, guarded by the fingernails, and this is the second time we've seen brilliance from this young man, Travis Friend. Banga gone for duck, and India 193 for five. Ajay Ratra. The new batsman, under real pressure now. This is a big partnership, Kayaf and Ratra. Here's he three. Off the mark straight away. He's a busy little fella. I just couldn't understand the purpose behind the shot of Sanjay Bangar. He's a sensible batsman. I just couldn't figure out what he was trying to do here. Just went through with the shot. I think the idea was to hit over the top, but Travis Friend, absolutely brilliant. He picked the wrong man. Travis Friend's a tall fella, and he has actually caught a blinder. We've lost a couple of wickets. The two new men in the middle. In the slog overs, it is going to be difficult for them. It's gone virtually straight to the fielder, but that brings up the 200 for 5, 42 gone. Friend. He's gone for many boundaries today. Very often provides the batsman with the opportunity to score. This was a slow delivery. Very well picked up by Mohamed Kaif. Good flow of the bat. But Mohamed Kaif is trying to hit the ball too hard. Another run out here. Another run out. Well, well, well. Never run for a misfield. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Poor cricket by the Indians once again. The Zimbabweans have fought very hard and they deserve this little bit of luck. Rank full toss, missed it. Bit of misfield. And the batsmen are looking at the ball. And in the end, run out by a long, long way. Ratra departs. Another Indian wicket falls. And he'd be very disappointed. This is his home ground. He's from Haryana. End of Ratra, it's 211 for six. Well, in the past, he's played some quick knocks. Kapka finds the boundary. My well, apologies to Mohammed Kaif. Plays the shot very nicely. Roll of the wrists. Very strong in the area. Likes to wait on the back foot. Not greatest of bowling from Travis Friend. It is a slow surface. Dragging it short makes it that much simpler for the batsman. Oh, bowled it in the same place. With, I think, the same result. Yeah. Another fantastic effort. From a man who's bowled brilliantly, but this is not good bowling from Friend. It's too short on this pitch. It's because it's not bowled the right line and length. Dot ball here would be great for Zimbabwe. It's just angled it away cleverly. Let a run away for four, which is not Zim what Zimbabwe wanted. 2.30 for six. Very good shot by Mohamed Kaif. Well, it's 
four. Good shot. from the over 2.49 for 6 he's very strong in the area Ajitav good oh oh one bounce for thought he'd have gone all the way to start with Agaka has burst into flames. Fantastic stroke play from Ajit Agarkar. Just arrived at the time when India needed to get on with it. It's not the easiest time for any batsman. But this one is a magnificent strike. He's raced along to 23 of 13 deliveries. That was his fourth boundary. Around. the umpire asking for a clarification from the third umpire who has fat cut just inside the rope inside out the third man was inside too it was the boundary in the previous over from hit streak it was slice to get the elevation right well he is striking it well he just can't go wrong 67 just what the doctor ordered for India and Ajit Agarkar quite fancy is the Zimbabwe attack 16 deliveries he's got 34 of 5 boundaries in that and 1-6 one, 1 well this is good batting down the order by the Indians we haven't seen it very consistently in the past in lower order contributing has drilled that back down the field fantastic shot he has now caught Kaif up 39 from 18 deliveries great shot well he's not a very big man Ajit Agarkar but does play with a very heavy bat and he uses that bat to good effect hits it very very hard 6 fours and a 6 And the last ball goes out to deep mid-wicket for a rather disappointing one after the way he's played. And 2.75 will be Zimbabwe's target. Excellent performance from Ajit Agaka. 40 not out from 19 deliveries. Mongia 25, very attractive runs from just 24 balls. Ganguly, a brilliant innings, 57 from 70, was ended with a brilliant bit of stumping down the leg side by young Tatenda Taibu. Laxman awful mi mix-up, run out 75, that might have cost India some runs. Dravid LBW bowl Grant Flower 23 in the middle of that excellent spell of bowling from him. Kaif not out 39, held that middle order together nicely. Banga played a strange stroke, second ball, caught mid off for two, brilliantly caught though. Another mix up that ran out, Ratra and Agaka blistered 40 from just 19 balls. Zimbabwe bowling, streak was excellent up front and got, uh, got a little bit of tap at the death, which bowlers do unfortunately. 
as I say, they either get lucky and get wickets or they get a bit of tap. He got some tap at the end. Travis Friend never really got it right at any stage. Gary Brent also got some whack, but the star bowler in that Zimbabwe lineup that kept this total under 300 was Grant Flower. Ten overs, one for 31. Uh, 275 then the total for Zimbabwe to chase it might have been a lot more mightn't it had it not been for some really good bowling from Grant Flower but I think India at the end of the day would have settled for that total let's see how Zimbabwe go about chasing it well that's a good delivery first up Zahir Khan well, it was tentative in the first two deliveries, so wide, then a no ball, but this one, bang on target. Pretty defensive field, two men catching on the two slips, three in the ring on the offside, saving one. Udon Medwicket on the onside, saving one, and a fine leg. He is very delighted with Zahir Khan and he deserves to be. Well, this was sheer pace. He nipped back a bit and no finer sight for a fast bowler than that. Seeing the off-pole, cartwheeling back towards the keeper, Craig Wishart. He's been bowled by Zahir Khan for one. Five for one. New man in, Travis Friend. He's been sent in as the pinch hitter. Will be Agar Kur from the far end. Nicely played on the leg side. Anil Kumble covers the ground quickly. The thing about that uh, first wicket to fall, uh, Shiva, is that you're not meant to benefit from bowling no balls and wides. That was his last ball the over. It was his eighth ball. Here it is. And it's the quickest ball he bowled all over. Now, you're meant to be tired if you have to bowl eight ball overs, like, like they used to bowl in Australia all those years ago. And that was a beauty. He bowled a no ball, he bowled a wide, so that was ball number eight. What a beauty. With a swing there for Agarkar. Placement of the shot was good. Will it go all the way? Ganguly, the man, just inches inside the fence. That's when I have enough time to go for three. He seemed to be frightened to pick it up. Look at him. Pick it up. He left it as long as he could. And just all right. Bit of indecision. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That would have been close. It certainly will make a very interesting replay if it was a direct hit. Definitely, Shiva, I'm napping that that would have been th the third run out of the day. Terrible hesitation between the two batsmen and I think about, just short by about a yard and a half. Strikes it very well. There was this gap between extra cover and mid off and that fed to the fence like a trace of bullet. Sure did. And that's how he played in the test series. If it was up there, he drove it. Beauty. Once again, a bit of width and over pitch this time. No problems for Alistair Campbell. And beautifully timed through extra cover by Alistair Campbell. He realizes he doesn't have to smash it here. It's a short outfield. Short boundary rather than a quick outfield. Nine of the over. It's 21 for one. Depart to the pavilion. Fast and straight. Quality left arm pace bowling this. Watch this again. Quick ball, bit of bounce, maybe nip back a touch. And Travis Friend, touch unlucky to nick it back on. But it was pace and direct bowling. Travis Friend, bowls are here. 21 for two. And that one away for four. 21 for 2 Zimbabwe, they've been set a target of 275. 
Lost a couple of the wickets very early, but they've got the best man in, Andy Flower. And they look forward to a big knock from him. Three hundreds, the one the internationals. Average of 33, but he'll have to get somewhere close to his best of 142. Almost another one. Dear, oh dear. It's had all the batsmen in trouble. Yeah, another quick ball this time. The ball not bouncing very much. And Andy Flower pinned right on the back foot. And this is good, quick, direct bowling. And then coming out in the bowling. Edged. And we'll get a boundary. Yeah, Andy Flower may claim here he ran it off the face. It was one of those that perhaps he was running down to third man. Well, he's got it through, and I think it might well run away to the fence. It'll take a dive to stop it. Brilliant if he's managed it. No doubt the umpires will go to number three. Good piece of fielding by Kaif. Very difficult to say whether he's over the line or touching the rope. Looks like a good piece of fielding. Good stroke, four runs. Superb shot. And this is the way Andy Flau was playing when he was here on the last tour. Man of the match from the last test match. Harbhajan Singh, 54 wickets. And the best of five for 43. It's gone for the sweep. And it's gone all the way. In fact, that's a big hit. Don't let the spinner settle down, must be his thing at the back of the mind. Andy Flower makes very good contact. It's out of the ground by a long, long way. Well, nothing wrong with the delivery from Harbhajan. It was on good length, middle and off. An excellent shot. It's gone again. This time square up and uh, less power behind that one, but still effective. Four runs to end the over. Welcome Harbhajan Singh, 57 for two. Good feeling. He's one of the quicker men around the bat. Mohamed Kaif. Well, that's one of the reasons why he's found a place in the one-day team. Mohamed Kaif can bat usefully down the order. But he can be one of the best fielders available in the country. It's gone over the top. And it's got enough bat. Whether it's gone all the way, we'll just have to wait and see. But this is Das was came in for the ball then realized that there was more power behind it than he expected in the charge just quite expected but the man had to run back failed to understand this this is not a very big ground where you keep somebody in 15 yards to stop the two this is a normal Indian ground in fact it's a little smaller than most Indian grounds and if it's the man on the boundary he's got to be on the fence it was a boundary signal by the umpire He's missed him. So consecutive boundaries for Alistair Campbell. Previous Lakshman, the man at mid on. But they're getting a bit of a move on things here. It's time they did. We're in the 17th over. Babe, the run rate required is over six. River sweep comes in. As predicted by Shivarama Krishnan and picks up his first boundary with that sweep shot. Andy Flaw. The pressure on the Indians now. 79 for two. Not a very easy shot to play, but he does it so well. That's because he uses his wrist to good effect. Rolls his wrist over the ball to make sure that it doesn't go in the air. What's that? About seven or eight oh. And Harbhajan Singh nearly out of the blue. Creating a bit of a flutter there for Zimbabwe. But that had been the third wicket. Well, very good work by Harbhajan Singh. Unlucky. So Taibu do that in the test match.
Beautiful shot. The outfield pretty quick here. No chance for Rahul Dravid there. That's beautifully timed right from the meat of the blade. Facing where the ball was to be played. Now this is a class shot. And there's a 50. Andy Flower. Oh. 288 wickets in his kitty. Two five wickets holes. And now look at this economy rate after 222 matches, 4.2. Oh, lovely shot. Beautiful shot. A very fast outfield. That should go all the way. And it has. A very, very clever shot from Andy Flower. You don't see that shot play too much these days, that late cut. That sensible cricket from Andy Flower, that was a flipper bowl by Anil Kumble. Just use the pace of the ball. And Andy Flower realizes that this is a fast outfield and if he places it right, it's going to be all, go all the way. More runs here. Going to be tight if it's a direct hit. There was a direct hit, and that is going to be very close. As always, if the throw hits directly, it's always tight. It was good pick up and throw from Harbhajan Singh, direct on the stumps. Well, it's looking in. Wait and see. Not out, says the third umpire. 117 for two after 25 overs. So there it is, 25 overs gone, the halfway point, 158 more required. Oh, good hit, bye-bye. A Tom Mixer, a big six. Andy Flower, now Andy Flower knows exactly what length to pick up. Head's so steady when he plays that stroke. But this one he converted into an opportunity. Ah! Clean bowled. That's the wicket India wanted. Saurav Ganguly brought his man in Anil Kumle to get a breakthrough and he's done it for him. A little bit slower. He gave it a little bit of width and Andy Flower just stretching for it, trying to knock it through the offside, has played it back on. Here we see just a bit slower, a little bit wider, drifting away and he's nicked it back on. A little bit unlucky for Andy Flower, but that is the end of a, a very, very fine innings of 72 for Andy Flower. 132 for three. And that one away for four. Cometh the hour, cometh the captain. Stuart Carlisle has come in himself at the fall of that third wicket, the fall of Andy Flower. And what a crucial innings this is. In a way, I thought we might be seeing the man in form, Grant Flower, replacing his brother. Perhaps more of a man for the situation to keep it ticking, but time will tell. Fifty runs for Alastair Campbell. How well he's played. He played a terrific supporting role. His 27th one day international 50. And today it was a supportive role. That'll be four. It split uh, the sweeper and the third man perfectly. Oh, he's got the reverse sweeper. Hasn't played it as well as he would have liked, but he certainly got it away for four runs. 147 for three. 128 to win at just over six runs and over. Seven wickets in hand. A lot of sides have fancy that. That's good fielding, not good enough, only because the running was positive. Immediate response and got in. When I say not good enough, I mean not good enough to, to procure a run out, but wonderful fielding from Kaif. Wonderful positive running from the Zimbabweans as well. Setting up for the run immediately, Stuart Carlisle. See Campbell making it home safely. 
done, Stuart Carlisle. He's worked that from off stump away to leg. Where, where Ganguly's got it right here is that he's got a good field set. He hasn't got the normal four in the ring because we've got 270. Get us to 230 without losing another wicket, and we have a dart. Good shot. That'll be four. Just what the visitors require. They require a boundary every two overs, I reckon so long as they're scoring sort of nearly one a ball in between. Just waits for it. Missed it quite late, and the important thing is he gets it past the man. This field being as quick as it is, as it is. 171 for three, 171 for three. Each of these two teams at this stage were exactly the same. Once again, a bit of red. Plenty of work for the man at the sweeper cover, but it's the point fielder who gets there first. Anil Kumle looking for the foot marks outside the left-handers off stump has provided the batsman with width on a few occasions. And he's been played square of the wicket at the offside for runs. Goes for the big one. Man getting underneath it. Oh, can't get to it in time. Anil Kumble, the fielder. First ball of a new spell for Harbhajan, Stuart Carlisle, trying the big shot. Yes, Stuart Carlisle was going for maximum there, and it just about ooh, didn't quite carry to Anil Kumble. It'd be unfair to say that was a drop, and you really feel that uh, certainly maybe one more, he should have had one more. One more wicket then would have really put, been the nail in the coffin, I think, for Zimbabwe at that stage. He took him off, but there again, it may be his decision that Zahir is good for five or six, but he gets tired and tends to bowl a loose over. Or maybe he wanted to keep four back for him and uh, have two spells of two. He's a shit and he's gone. Brilliant catch by Ajay Ratra. That's the breakthrough Indians were looking at, and Zahir Khan once again providing it for the Indians. 6.4 overs, two maidens, three for 12. Zahir Khan has done it again. How well he's bowled today. And that is the wicket they were desperate for. Zahir drifting it away from the right-handed Carlisle, who went for the drive, the outside edge, and AJ Ratra took a beauty, and just when they needed it, India were beginning to drift out of this contest. Stuart Carlisle caught Ratra, bowled Zahir for 23, 186 for four. The new man in, Dion Ibrahim. Had a good test match in Delhi, missed out on 100. And this is one day records for you, 27 matches, an average of 23.78. He'd want to improve on that, but the best of 121. The reverse field once again. Good work by the fielder there. Sanjeev Anga, no, Sajid Thakur, beg your pardon. Well, it's been a good over for the Zimbabweans, five coming of it so far. Very fancy shots, just the singles and twos. Big appeal, and he's given him. Hit the bat first, and then the bat. Zaire Khan strikes once again. He picks up his fourth wicket, a very important wicket for the Indians. Well, he's doing what he's done all day, Zahir Khan. Fast and direct and straight. Here we see it again. Alistair Campbell thought he got a bit of bat in this. But watch it again. It's gone, I think, straight onto the knee roll. It's straight, and he may have gone off the pad onto the bat. But as far as I'm concerned, it looked pretty good to me. Good delivery from Zahir Khan yet again. Four for 13. Seven overs. Alistair Campbell, 84, 193 for five. 193 for five. This is India's best chance to up the run rate. Two new batsmen in. Ground flat to take strike. A very warm welcome, Mr. Ground flat. And Zayn Khan, why not? He's been the pick of the bowlers on view today. Well, what a ball. Uh, good afternoon, Grant. Fantastic delivery from Zahir Khan. 80 runs required, 11 overs to go. Five wickets in hand. Harbhajan will continue. No run, no run. Once again, going for the sweep. There is a bit of misunderstanding. Well, 
Well, a little bit of a dodgy uh, single this, but uh, Zimbabwe are now running for their lives. They've got behind the eight ball, they've got to run everything, and they're going to need the odd boundary along the way. was the man big a fire into his grand flower just trying to give Harbhajan the charge beaten in the air and a straightforward catch yes down the pitch I think someone had to put back to ball grand flower decided it was going to be him but he's hit it straight back to Harbhajan Singh who's taken a pretty good catch there grand flower caught and bowled Harbhajan for two and the score 198 for six 198 for six in 40 overs the target for Zimbabwe, 275. And the new man in, heat streak. Well, the single will bring up the 200. It's 200 for 6 and 41. But as usual, pressure tells and wickets falling make it very difficult. Not out. Off the arm was indicated. Top spinner. And uh, no conclusive evidence there that it had come off the glove, but the keeper certainly thought so. Harbhajan Singh, in fact, was celebrating. It's another look at it. Television cameras cannot Gatti, run the game, but that's out. Yeah. Leading edge, Heath Street goes, and surely Zimbabwe's last chance. This is a much better way of doing it. Heat streak absolutely clueless to the stop spinner. Streak gone for one and Zimbabwe 200 for seven. Attender Taibu. What a lot he's learnt in the few weeks he's been in India. How nice when a plan comes together. Well, I like the way he said strike bowler Zahir Khan. That's up in the air with a man under it and out little option left for Zimbabwe now than to try to hit boundaries but a comfortable catch well few problems with his legs and none with the hands slow ball complete miscue went high in the air and a very safe catch taken by the captain the Australian way Absolutely safe. Ibrahim gone. And Zimbabwe 210 for 8. Douglas Marilia, batsman number 10 for Zimbabwe. If I remember correctly, he's also open for Zimbabwe on occasions as a pinch hitter. He's got some aggression in him as a batsman at the international cricket level. That'll do. Safest place to hit it at this stage of an innings or almost any stage <laughs> oh that might run uh, all the way to the boundary he's got a bit of a hand on it he's got to get a dive in now no four more Marilia quite unorthodox and yet he's putting some runs on the board nine from three balls Kumle wasn't happy. It was an honest effort, but the bowler wasn't too happy. Well, you've got another over to come from Zahir Khan. Ajit Agar has got two to come. Kumle has got one to come. Four more. Takes his strike rate to about 250. What a great shot that was. Nothing wrong, nothing lucky. That's his answer to our uh, analysis of his batting this one is a perfect cover drive all along the ground copybook shot made room for himself to play on the offside the length was perfect how about that for a bit of improvisation he's walked across the stumps this is what he did with Glenn McGrath he walked across the stumps and this time he's trying to just paddle it around fine on the leg side because the fine leg is up it was a no ball Irritating bloke to bowl at, let me tell you. And I tell you what, this is the first time I've seen a sweep played on the offside. The ball ends up on the offside, that's quite amazing. It's very much a shovel more than anything else. 22 balls, two wickets. There's a game on here, all of a sudden, there's a game on. 
Oh, he's hit that high and handsome for six. Game really on. He dissected his batting, but uh, he's shown that he's got some shots on the onside as well. And can there be a better shot on the onside than this? He's gone the full distance, picked on the full. That's a tremendous batting, to be honest. And the words haven't got any chillies in them. 33 from 20 balls. He's got to keep going. He's done it. Over fine leg. Who's up for the one and runs away for four. Marilia has suddenly taken this game by the scruff of the neck. He's ruined Zahir Khan's figures. Absolutely obliterated them. Four, six, eight, 14. 18 off the over with a ball to go. And fortunate that it isn't two balls to go. And Douglas Mariello was looking to use that pace with Zahir Khan. So this is a good change. Except that Douglas Marilia has smashed the daylights out of that one. Very, very good batting going on here. That was an excellent shot. Down the wicket, through the extra cover area, on the up. Nothing wrong with it. That's a perfectly good cricket stroke. VVS Latchman couldn't play it better than that. Look at that. Whack. And along with that, he's improvising. He's making it very difficult for the bowler to know whether to bowl full. Length. He's improvising, he's making it very difficult for the bowler to know whether to bowl full, length, short, or what? Oh, what is that? What is that? He's going short behind. It's almost a wide. He managed to reach it. That makes it tough for Zimbabwe now with only one wicket left. What a wicket this is. Although the man who was less dangerous has been dismissed but it's the nine wicket gone and that's crucial not sure whether he has that one but uh, Ajay Ratra was absolutely convinced Sanjay Banga just joining in with the appeal but Taibu is walking back and what a wicket that is for India 252 for nine no mug with the bat not a genuine number 11 at all and we've read him enough to know that he'll be making some improvisation before the ball is delivered third man's in place which is critical oh and he's gone over the keeper's head why not brilliant found the slot and a no ball two more balls of this over still to be bowled and again done it again look out India look out this game is not over Zahir Khan just trying to get his point across to the captain. He needs a fielder there. Very fine. And I think what the bowler can do is perhaps cut down on the pace. That is the only thing he can look to do against Douglas Marilla because he's using the pace superbly. Oh man, here we go. He's hit that over extra cover and it's going to go for four. What a great start. That's exactly what India didn't need. Precisely what Zimbabwe oh, needed. 51. Douglas Marilia in 21 deliveries. Strangely enough, equals exactly what Agaka has done. His 50 was in 21 balls. This is almost unbelievable. And what a shot that was. Waiting for the ball here for four. Oh, got the ball, ball. Two balls to come. Four to win. I've got a feeling really has got to do it in one blow. I don't know. Uh... See, there's the scoreboard. That's incorrect. That's one run, two men. cricket that I've had the privilege to watch what an incredible victory for the visitors we had them dead and buried I make no bones about it I said it we all said it and yet once again this amazing game 
proves us all wrong. And Douglas Marillia has performed a minor miracle. Well, just to remind you, no ball bowled and four runs picked up. So that makes it five runs of that last ball. And Zimbabwe win with one wicket to six for nine is what Zimbabwe achieved. What a match this has been. And the man at the bottom there, number 10, Douglas Marillia, was the man responsible for one of the biggest upsets that you'll ever see. 56 of 24 balls. But let's not forget the contributions made initially by Alice Campbell, 84, and Andy Flaas, 71. Well, Zahir Khan was the pick of the bowlers until uh, Marilia took to him, 4 for 47. Uh, Tagarka didn't come in for that last spell. A uh, couple of wickets each for Sanjay Bangar and Harbhajan Singh. In the end, the bowling, just not enough to get India a win. Well, so man of the match, Douglas Marilia for his knock of 56, not out. What a lovely innings. Well, 275 Zimbabwe was set, and it looked as if they might get it all the way along because a really good partnership of 111. between Campbell and Flower kept them in the game and on course. Then, suddenly, a flurry and it looked as if they were dead and buried. Until Douglas Marillia, the man of the match, came to the wicket. So